Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm breaking down the complete results and analyzing the physiques from the 2023 Flex Weekend Pro. This was an exciting show with some impressive new pros and veterans bringing their best packages. Let's get right into the placings and see how the competition shook out. 15th place, Khaled al Kazemi. Finishing 15th was Kuwait's Khaled al Kazemi. He took 16th at last year's Big Men Weekend Pro, so a slight improvement for him here. Al Kazemi has good size, but needs to dial in his conditioning more to move up. 14th place, Andrea Bolzoni. In 14th was Italy's Andrea Bolzoni, making his pro debut at the Flex Weekend Pro. He showed some nice shape and proportions, but has work to do to crack the top 10. A solid start for the newcomer. 13th place, Simone Bassanelli. Another pro debut, Italy's Simone Bassanelli earned his pro card at last year's Amateur Olympia. His 13th place finish is respectable for a fresh pro. Bassanelli displays nice lines and a complete physique. 12th place, Andrea Musi. Seasoned pro Andrea Musi has placed as high as third this season. His dense, sharp look from the front is excellent, but he needs more back development. After missing the Olympia top 15, this conditioning misstep cost him. 11th place, Artem Pokniuk. Sliding into the 11th spot is Artem Pokniuk from Russia. He's got incredible shape and lines, but to be a true contender, he'll need to pack on some mass. 10th place, Dennis Reinhold. Germany's Dennis Reinhold cracked the top 10 in his pro debut. Broad shoulders and thick legs show promise, but his midsection needs refinement. A great start though with room to qualify. Ninth place, Mike Siesla. In ninth was Germany's mass monster Mike Siesla. Extremely thick lower body but needs more upper body mass for balance. Well conditioned overall, the size will come. Eighth place, Jan Turek. Czech Republic's Jan Turek brought an impressive eighth place. With great lines and proportions, he narrowly missed the top five. We'll see this sharp and conditioned athlete lock in a qualification soon. 7th place, Tim Butchheim. Germany's Tim Butchheim earned 7th and continues improving. The added size enhanced his always razor-sharp condition. Poses flowed smoothly in his best look to date. 6th place, Theo Laguerre. In the 6th, we saw Francis Theo Laguerre. The reigning Europa Pro champ is dangerous when dialed in. He carries incredible mass that we hope to see peak perfectly soon. Now for the exciting top five, let's break down these phenomenal physiques. Fifth place, Blessing Awadibu. In his second show this season, Blessing Awadibu had to settle for fifth place. He was confident expecting to beat Reagan Grimes for the title, but Grimes proved him wrong. Awadibu's conditioning improved since Chicago Pro, but he didn't have the same complete package as last year when he won back-to-back -back two pro shows. Fourth place, Liang Yin. China's Liang Yin hit his biggest pro package yet. He put on 15 pounds from last year's pro debut when he was 225 pounds. He was full and grainy with tremendous potential. We will see him battle for an Olympia qualification soon. Third place, Roman Fritz. Veteran pro Roman Fritz looked just his sharp conditioning and dense physique as big as the rest of the massive lineup. Already qualified for the Olympia, he coasted to third with Dents. Fritz competes next weekend at Europa Pro Spain and Cheryl Classic France. Wishing him the best. Second place, Reagan Grimes. Reagan Grimes was gigantic at 20 pounds over last year's Olympia. However, he couldn't peak well, looking flat and prejudging. He improved for the finals, but not enough to beat Nathan Daasha, who came in very dry and peeled. In comparison, Reagan's size dominated Nathan's wider and much bigger. However, 37-year-old Nathan nailed his conditioning, looking very dense and thick with incredible muscle maturity that Reagan lacks. Reagan had the back advantage thicker and wider with impressive hamstrings. Nathan is narrow from the back with high lats, losing some back shots. But from the front and side, Nathan showcased his dense, mature physique. First place, Nathan Daasha. 
Nathan DeAsho won his 10th IFBB Pro Show with one of his best packages conditioning-wise, tight and flat midsection well controlled throughout. Though he says this is his most significant package, he looks slightly downsized compared to his 2017-2018 to version. Happy he finally competes at the Olympia this year after placing 8th five years ago in 2018. I hope Nathan brings further improvements to his Olympia comeback this year. There you have it, a breakdown of all the incredible action at the 2023 Flex Weekend Pro. Congratulations to our champion Nathan DeAsha and all the athletes who brought their best. Competitions are already heating up on the way to the 2023 Mr. Olympia. I hope you enjoyed this coverage and analysis. Let me know your thoughts on these amazing pros in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more bodybuilding content all year round. This is your host signing off. See you at the next show.